couple things we know. A couple things we know is we have a product. Ooh, product. That means I need to apply the product rule, right? So if I'm going to be applying the product rule, that means I'm going to take the derivative of my first function times my second function plus my first function times the derivative of my second function. OK, not so bad, right? But now, the problem is I can't just take the derivative willy-nilly, right? Now I see that I have to take the derivative, but I have to apply the chain rule on the derivative. So hopefully you guys can kind of visualize this, because if you guys try doing the f of x, g of x every single time, you're probably going to go crazy drawing all this stuff. So let's look at these parent functions. Here, sorry, I should use brackets. Here, I need to take the derivatives in the chain rule. So I would say that my parent function would be x cubed, right? So let's go ahead and find the derivative of x cubed, which would be 3 squared. You guys agree with me? Yes. And then you re-put in the child function. And then you multiply it by the derivative of the child function, which is 2x. I'm going to continue that in, print, in brackets so you guys can just see how that was like still the same, just a derivative inside of that. Does everybody see how I did the chain rule kind of quickly and easily? No? You want to practice on basic chain rules? I did the power rule for x cubed. Yeah. Brought down the 3, subtracted 1. Uh -huh. and remember, you take the derivative of the parent, plug in the child, multiply by the derivative of the child. So the derivative of x squared plus 5 is just 2x, right? OK, now, yes? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I, all I did was here to here. I still have all this to go. So now I do this, which is just the same. x cubed minus 1 to the fourth plus x squared plus 5 cubed. And now I need to take the derivative here, which is, again, what is the parent, what is the parent function of this one? x to the fourth. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do 4 times x to the third. Would everybody agree that's like the derivative of my parent function? Does everybody see that? That's the derivative of my parent function. Then I plug in my child function, which is x cubed minus 1 times the derivative of my child function, which is 3x squared. Now, we try to look again to see if there's anything um, that we possibly could take out. And there are some things that, you know, in reality, guys, these are all just the products all multiplied by each other, right? So if you wanted to simplify this or if you were asked to simplify this, um, there's a couple things that we could take out. So let's see what they have. Let's see what these two have in common. They have a x squared plus 5 squared, x squared plus 5 squared that you could factor out. Um, and we have a a 3 and an x that we could take out. And then we have also a x cubed minus 1 we could, to the third power, we could take out. So if we take those both out, the 3's would go, the x would go, I'd be, and the 2x squareds would go, and then this would be to a 1. So I'd be left with 2 times x cubed minus 1. Then over here, if I pulled out an x squared, that would go to 1. The 3 would divide out. Um, the x would go to 1. So therefore, I'd be left with a 4x. Let's write that in front. 4x times x squared plus 5. And then how many of these did I take out? I took out three of them, so that would be complete. To be honest with you guys, you're not going to have, you're more than likely not going to have a problem that, that's that difficult to factor out 